In this video I'm going to show you guys how to install world edit for single player Minecraft 1.14.4 using the fabric mod loader. Now if you're new to the channel at all we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyway the first thing we need to do is actually install fabric, it's nice and easy, it's going to be the first link in the description, there's only two. So we've got the first one which is fabricmc.net and we've also got um, the world edit kind of page which does have We'll go on to files in a minute and we'll actually go and get the actual fabric mod. So for this we need to get the fabric loader which you can download here as it says so make sure to click on that link there. And then there's loads of different versions that you can actually get this for. Um, I actually use multi MC but because most people will be on the vanilla launcher that's what we're going to use. Now you can either use the .exe to actually install um, fabric or you can use the .jar file. I'm going to go with the .exe file. .jar files can sometimes have some issues with them or rather that the uh, Java itself has issues with it. Uh, if you are going to be using the .jar file and you come across some errors, there is a link in the description to my shaders video uh, and actually a specific point in that shaders video where I show you how to reinstall Java and also to um, how to fix it using this thing called Jarfix. Anyway, click on that .exe. I'm just going for the latest version, it's absolutely fine. And that will give us the .exe file. So if we just, for the time being, uh, knock that to the side. And I'm just going to drag that onto my desktop. Nice and easy. And just for this, all you need to do is, of course, just double click it. And what you should get is something that looks like this. And this will have the Minecraft version that you want to install, so 1.40.4. You can see the snapshots as well um, if you wanted to do snapshot versions. Uh, but for this, we're just going to go for the build. Um, that is where my Minecraft is located. And we're just going to do create profile. So if we just do install from here, that's it. It's done. So we can close that now and kind of get rid of that like this. And then if we open up our Minecraft launcher, now if you had your Minecraft launcher open at the time of uh, installing it, just close it, reopen it. But what you should get is a new kind of um, version has been added to it, So you can see here. So all good and dandy. So in order to install mods, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into and just open up a normal kind of like folder. And in the top bar, we're going to do a percent app data or data percent. And that will take you um, to where your Minecraft is actually located, unless you've got it somewhere else. But for most, pe most people, it's in uh, percent app data percent, and then dot Minecraft, and then we'll have this folder called mods. So you can see I've got nothing in there. Now, with most fabric mods, it's always a good idea to actually get, if we go back onto this web page, um, if we go back one page, it's always best to get the fabric API for Minecraft. Uh, the reason being that um, there's a lot of a lot of the mods that you get for fabric will rely on this API, so it's almost always best to install it. Um, I do it first, I always do, um, because yeah, then you don't forget about it. But yeah, click on that link and then you can go into files. And then what we can see here is the API build for this and we're just going to click on download. That will take to us, another, us to another page, like this. And should be downloading now. Because um, it's the .jar file, it, your computer will probably come up with something like this file type of file can harm your computer, do you want to keep it anyway? I'm going to go and keep. Um, it's absolutely fine, it's just, just a... a basically a, a compiled bit of Java. So I'm just going to push that into there, so shove it into your mods folder. We're then going to go onto the world edit links, this is the second link in the description. And from this page here we go onto files. And then from here what you'll probably notice is there's different versions, so there's a forge version and there's a fabric version. We of course want the fabric version because that's what we're doing, so just click on download on the side here. And again wait for it to download, it only takes a few seconds. Just like that, and again you'll get the error come up, oh not really error come up, the warning come up should I say, and just go on to keep. And once that's stopped flashing, there we go, we can now drop that into the folder there. And if we go back into our Minecraft launcher, up to you guys if you want to rename this, by the way, um, can just have it where it's called, oh, see I've already rena renamed mine anyway. Um, but yeah, you, you can uh, rename it if you wanted to, it's up to you, um, you know, you could call it like world edit one or whatever. Uh, but just hit on play and we'll let this load up. And there we go. So after a little bit of time, you should get Minecraft actually start up. You'll see in the bottom Minecraft 1.40.4 uh, fabric. I'm just going to go on to single player and then just open up a world. And here we go. So here we are in the world. So um, let's just make sure everything's working. So a good command for, or just a nice basic one is BR sphere. I can already see this working because of it being picked up, but we're going to go with 1, 1, which is stone. So if we just do this, so for that command, slash, 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 br, space sphere, one, one, which means stone, and the radius is going to be one for the actual brush. And look at this, we've got world edit in single player, 
and also in fabric so now you can start adding those fabric mods in as well if you want to how cool is that but that is it for the tutorial guys if you had any issues do let me know in the comment section below also if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to comment like and subscribe and yeah guys i will see you on the next one